Taksim Square is one of Turkey's, if not the world's, most important city centers. Taksim sees an average of 2 million visitors per day. In the Istanbul City Parliament, where parties including the AKP, CHP and the MHP are all represented, a bill passed though the majority of vote to pedestrianize Taksim Square. In accordance with this bill, Taksim Square that now has 5,000 square meters of pedestrian-friendly coverage will be transformed to accommodate 30,000 square meters. According to this bill, a historical monument from the 19th century that stood till it was demolished by former President Ismet Inonu will be restored. Due to its central location in the city, the ongoing construction is the area is negatively affecting the city. This is a situation that has caused quite some strife for the Istanbul public. The opposition party, the CHP, has turned its stance from one singing onto and supporting the transformation of Taksim Square to now suggesting that they condemn it in the eyes of the public, suggesting to their followers that occupying these areas where construction still continues as the proper course of action. Their intention here is to paralyze construction efforts, in effect stagnating traffic to show the ineffectiveness of the AK party and turn the public, which it was democratically, by against it. The first step was to place a handful of supporters within the construction zones to occupy them and to demobilize the projects that will be beneficial to the public. In the meantime, they utilize social media to spread speculative mythological stories through the celebrities and scholars in order to reach people from all cliques of society. In the meantime, police forces escalated the situation with their methods of using of excessive, unacceptable force. Due to these factors, there were violent demonstrations in areas of the city that lasted for nearly 48 hours. With the use of these speculations and Photoshop images, they clearly displayed their intentions as they attempt to form the marriage of a country at war, while demonizing the democratically majority elected Recep Tayyip Erdogan to the outside world. Recep Tayyip Erdogan is a leader that one out of two citizens vote for in the last democratically held elections. Could a leader that has won the hearts of the people and has been increasing in popularity and gaining more votes in every democratic election since 2002 possibly be a dictator?